The man in the other cowboy hat, Paul Stewart. As a child, he was miffed when his white friends would never let him be anything but one of the Indians. They said, you can't be the cowboy. I said, why not? And he said, there's no black cowboys. A childhood snub by neighborhood kids left Stewart stunned. From books to movies, he never found any evidence of blacks being in the Old West. I'm always looking up on the screen, see if I can see a picture of a black cowboy. Never saw one. On a visit to Denver to see his cousin, he says spotting a black man downtown in western gear simply blew his mind. About six, seven, cowboy hat on, boots, chaps, spurs, bolo. I touched my cousin on the shoulder and said, look at that drugstore over there, cowboy over there. Who's he trying to fool? There's no black cowboys. And he turned around real slow and he said, well, yes, Paul, he's a cowboy. Well, that was all it took. At his Eastside Barbershop, people began bringing him evidence of contributions blacks made to the Old West. Well, the Black American West Museum came to be under the leadership of Paul Stewart. He wanted folks to know that blacks helped tame the West. It came to fruition right here in the Dr. Justina Ford House, where the museum is today. From Deadwood Dick to Bill Pickett to Cherokee Bill, Stewart found many black cowboys. So these pictures, they're, they're worth a thousand words. I can talk to you about somebody, <clears throat> but I show you a picture of it, and then I'm, I make you a believer. For Black History Month, in Five Points, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.